Okay, so the Biological Model Analyzer really allows us to bring together biology and computer science in a way which allows us to understand biological models and allows us to develop and press forward uh, our experimental understanding and bring it back to both the lab but hopefully eventually the clinic. The key aim here is to draw together the experience and knowledge which has been gained over many years in terms of understanding the specific interactions between different components and pathways and how they all work together and how we can use that knowledge of how they work together to understand the wider cellular and organ level behaviour. Specifically what we're hoping to do is we're hoping to look here for what we know as stability or a homeostasis, that is a consistent behaviour across all cells which is, made, which is maintained and allows us to keep a biological activity going throughout the, con the, the entirety of the uh, cell life. And specifically, we are able to use a biological model analyzer through a collaboration between design experts, biologists and computer scientists so that it can be presented in a way which rep represents the, the style that biologists will present their own data to one another. So specifically what we're able to do is we're able to open biologically re realistic models which, rese which resemble the cell diagrams that, bio uh, that biologists are used to and represent all the interactions between different specific proteins and different specific components explicitly. These representations can uh, reflect the interactions of external partners uh, with, outside, with receptors to the cells. They can represent the inner cell state in terms of the variety of different proteins, the interactions, the activations between the two, and of course the intercell communication. What we're able to do in this specific example is to understand how the skin cells uh, interact and how in specifically they maintain their rate of uh, division and sloughing from the bottom, the bottom cell layer, which has to be, made, to be divided to a specific rate, to the correlated sloughing behavior which is observed at the top. This main maintenance of this stability, this, the sameness across the length of the cell uh, is what a, maintains a healthy skin. What we were able to do is we take the network of interactions between all the proteins and we were able to run the verification tools that have been applied to software and hardware over many years uh, to understanding whether this stability arises naturally. In the specific standard model that we, take, we originally take, took from the literature, we were able to see the network of interactions was not actually able to re uh, reproduce this stability. And it's a unique uh, finding we were able to generate from the verification we can see specifically what regions of the system stabilize, highlighted in green, and which regions of the uh, system m maintain an instability under all circumstances, highlighted in red. What this knowledge allows us to do is we can take what's going on here, we can analyze how the stability changes over time in this graphic here, and we're able to then refine the model, adding back the interactions which will introduce the stability. And specifically, the key issue that we find in this specific model is that there is a missing interaction, uh, an activating interaction between GT1 and the jacket receptor. In order to fix this model, we reproduce that interaction across the entire range of cells to generate a new model. The new model that is generated now includes this interaction, and when we run the proof, as before, We can see that the model now stabilizes, re reaching a homeostatic state which reflects what we know goes on in the biology. This tool has a specific value to understanding skin behavior, but also now offers a platform for understanding uh, how different biological systems interact together and how we, can understand, how we can then understand experimental results and medical results in terms of the underlying models which drive what's going on. Our model really offers us this new opportunity then to, once we've got a working model, to then interact with the model, to manipulate the model, and to see what we can do to then break the system and understand how the system works uh, and how the system will respond in nature. This tool is publicly available and can be accessed on the web uh, through, the, through the website from Microsoft.